Bukaki, you, Bukaki, you feel yep. guilty when the niggas be fucking the bitch up a little bit, and you're like, damn, I feel guilty, but I keep fucking jerking off. Yo, it's the same. <sighs> it's just, and look, he's like, it's the same. Like, look, look, look. <laughs> Yeah, that one time. I guess, but it's the same feeling for me. It's the same feeling for me, right? When I see this bad chick or I see this chick or whatever and she's attractive, she's beautiful and she has a pink vibrator in her, in her, in her asshole just sitting there while she's talking. Like she's talking <laughs> on camera and she's boun bouncing the music, drinking a Corona, her titties all out. She got a pink thing hanging on her asshole, right? And then she has her fucking... She's like, she's talking and then she'll pull, pull the dildo out, talk and she'll laugh. And, and then you got to see them, my nigga, like, because they don't have the production team. You know what I mean? So they're answering questions while they're playing with themselves. Wow. Yo, it's hilarious. So some, yo, my nigga, pardon me while I'm jerking off and trying to finish feels bad too. I think about their fathers. I'm like, these poor <laughs> <laughs> I like these poor girls' fathers must be going through it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think that thing will close on. Everybody, this is your boy, Richard Picasso, and welcome to the What's Up Everybody podcast. I'm here with my amazing co-host, Mr. G, out of character. Hey, yo, happy Sunday. Where you been, yo-yos? Yeah. Are you tired, man? I'm high. I just smoked my clip. You know what I'm saying? You know how I get down, I see? Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to get right. Yeah, we had a little... At least, I like I said, at least I'm not drinking before pods. Yes, I'm you know proud of you about that. I'm very no proud of you. No drinking before pods. At least I try my best. I mean, you got you know you got the cigarette showing on camera in the ear. It's all good. I don't have a cigarette. Oh, it looked like a cigarette from that, here. <laughs> no, I'm just hearing us. I know because like for the side right here, I would think there was a cigarette in your ear. No, no cigarette, no cigarette, no cigarette. All right, all right. Smoked right. it outside. I only brought one with us. Okay, only one, only one. Just make sure of that, man. So. Uh, my week, it's been good. It's very productive. Did uh, I'm working on actually a piece, like a piece of clothing, like a customized like jacket. Okay. Like that's gonna be like I'm trying to make this shit like a Smithsonian type of level piece. So you're trying to step into the Kanye world. Yes. But you not design but not, your but own not, stuff. Yeah, but not put like ripped holes and shit and sell it off the niggas and shit. Well, <laughs> you know, it's weird when you find something that works. Can you really be like? What are you supposed to do? You know, he found something that worked and he winds up selling more than Jordan. You know, like, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? He gets with these big people like, you know, he does, with these big clothing companies and they obviously like his work because he's pushed himself to be a billionaire because of it. I mean, Not only his music endeavors, but I think it was more his designing endeavors. Yes. So you stepping into this light, you know what I mean? So you do. Speaking of Kanye, I, God bless that man. Everything that that man's going through right now mm -hmm. with his baby mama, it's fucking crazy. Like, the I, whole... What do you mean? Like, you know what happened? Go ahead. Like, pretty much situation with Kanye's, like... Kanye's, I think... Well, not, not think. He actually said on his uh, Instagram that, you know, he doesn't feel comfortable with his daughter being on TikTok. However, Kim... Allegedly said that, you know, she's like the account, she's like the account holder. They have like an Instagram called Kim and North. It's just Kim and North, and okay. then it's like a certain guideline where you have to be thirteen and up to use TikTok. If not, then they have I guess like a TikTok Kids wherever that's under. But okay. Kanye doesn't want his kids like on TikTok. She's only eight, her daughter. His daughter is eight years old, okay. and he feels that you know he shouldn't. He doesn't want his daughter exposed to that. Maybe not now, but like maybe not now, probably not even later. But he doesn't want his kids like be, be in that type of light. And Kim like fired back saying like, "Oh, you know, I'm I'm the sole custody holder. Like I'm not putting my kid in a bad light or anything." He he's like running, making, make saying all these stories. Like I think he did an interview with like Hollywood Unlocked saying like, "Oh, I didn't talk about like getting people." David says, ass B, but you know, why you got your kid in my house? You're denying me for seeing my daughter. You're giving me all these drug tests to see my daughter and shit. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, Kim? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, See, I didn't, I didn't, I honestly didn't know this Kanye um, propaganda went this deep. Yes. And it's, can, go ahead. Fish, fish. No, 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 go ahead. Like, I, that's it, pretty it, much I don't it. know. It's like, just, it's messy, man. You know, I know that they made a lifestyle and a living and 
being in front of cameras. Not only because of like Kanye being his his artistry, whatever, but because of who's Kim's family is. You know, like Robert Kardashian, the OJ thing, her with the sex tape. Then she becomes a lawyer. Now, now they're a power couple as a marriage because millions and millions make more millions. They got what four kids? They got four kids. You know, like four. they they stood toe to toe in some sense with. Beyonce and Jay Z, for like power couples mm. of, you know, regardless mm. if regardless if she took jizz in her face to be famous in hip hop, regardless, because of Kanye's crazy and how he did, everybody looked past that, and still look at them like yeah, Kim and Ye, Kim and Ye, but now, I see, if he if he was like that from jump, like yo. Since my kid's been born, or since TikTok has been around, I don't want that shit in their lives. You know I never wanted it in their lives. From jump, from day one, I've been saying I don't want that. But now, if you're outside the house, and you're, you're trying to be a dad now, right? And you're trying, to, you're trying to... Now you want to... Now you're seeing... It's just hard to have a voice when you had, a, when, when you had the opportunity to have a voice. You lived in the house. You had an opportunity to be a dad. And now you're out the house, you're out of the you're out of the situation, and now you're trying to be a dad. It's just harder to find your voice, in my opinion. Like I agree with him, because I think that there's a reason why China took away their form of TikTok from the kids only get a certain amount of time on it. They have to watch uh, math and science shit. There's a reason why that happens. I do believe that it's not. It's fucked up when you hear these kids, bro, sing these songs sometimes in the car and they don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're singing. And it just comes across with a swipe. You know, a parent, to some extent, a parent is responsible to stop that and say, yo, this got to stop. I go through it with the fucking 10-year-old in the house. Because every time I turn a corner, she's in her phone. And she's on the same thing, doing TikTok, doing TikTok, doing t- And I'm telling you, yo, do something else. Yo, do something. And... It, it changes her attitude because now they see these kids and they see the way people act on the fucking internet and they don't know that on internet, you don't get... But in the house, if you're going to be disrespectful and you're going to carry yourself like you see on the internet, you're vowed to get... It's just... It, that's the way I was brought up. Don't act like what happens on TV you can bring at home. Mm. And the problem is with the TikTok and all that shit, it's TV at the palm of their hands. YouTube, it's TV at the palm of their hands. Look, I open up the TV in the in the living room, and it's on YouTube. The kid was watching YouTube Lab last. He's like five. On one, it's showing like kids opening toys, it's, uh, these two guys doing kid shit, which is creeps. I think you people on YouTube that make kid stuff, and you're a grown-ass man... With your brother or something, and you're throwing whatever you that shit's weird. That shit's weird that you're getting millions of views from kids wanting to watch you guys, and you guys feel okay with that. I wouldn't feel okay with you at my barbecue. You know what I'm saying? You fucking that's pedophile shit. I understand making shit for kids, but y'all niggas look really weird with your like purple and red hair, and you're 30 something years old, and you're you're, you're, you're so what about family channels, then? (laughs) Family Mm -hmm. channels, those are even those come on, those go. 50-50 50-50 with me sometimes with the shows. But I think those shows, to some extent, it's more homely. It's like a mom and dad, it'd be like Family Matters or like something like that where it's showing a situation and what people go through in the house. Yeah, it's funny, it's comedy, but it's showing real life stuff. These people are deliberately forcing this type of comedy on the kids where, my, back to the point where I was saying, open TV and one of the videos it says... um. How to know what buddies to cuddle with. And it's two guys with a girl in the middle. And the fucking what? caption is how to know what buddies... And this is on a kid's stream on YouTube. Because he's on the kid's stream. Hmm. Millions of views on it. So regardless of what the message is... Because I didn't click it. So let's say that message was just nothing. It was them joking. It was just... What that caption looked like? My fucking five-year-old could read now. Now he's going to get curious and be like, why is there two guys and a girl in the bed and saying how couple, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not always there to answer those questions. I'm not always there. So he got to figure it out himself. So back to the Kanye thing. It's not, I agree with him being a parent on his message on, but I don't agree with the timing. 
If you're going to be a parent, you should have been a parent from jump and address these things when you had availability. 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 You know what it is? I hear myself an echo. Availability to address them. Did you see the response that she sent him? No, go ahead. It was like, I mean, she put it on IG and it was like a fucking eight in the morning. She, she sent this stuff. It was, it was, it was pretty toxic. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like, it's not, it's not our business any fucking way, but it's like to a certain extent. But you know what it is? They put it out there. They, that's the thing. It's like, it's out there. That's so it's like. I said. They're a celebrity couple. This is sucks. it like really like, you know, that private if you're like saying all this stuff, saying stuff like free right here. Here's the here's the response Kim said about Kanye not wanting her, their kids on their kid on TikTok. What on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Right. Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, mm -hmm. I'm doing my best to protect our daughter, but also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. Divorce is difficult enough on our children, and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and pu publicly is also causing further pain for all. From the beginning... I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because it is what's best for our children. And it saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the way. That's I, I brought it up as you were reading it. That's I mean, again, if he was parenting while he was in the house, I would I would say, you know, this is Kanye. This is what he is. Come on, Kim. You know he's that type of parent. You know he's that type of dude. Stop trying to, you know, but... If he's trying to parent from outside the house and he never was there full time before, that's how real hard to do, man. Look, I knew a chick. I knew a chick that her father went to jail for ten years of her life. A, a, a boy and a girl. They were brother and sister. Father went to jail for ten years of their life. He came out of jail and he got on his high horse. He got a fucking job. He fixed his credit score within a year. Got himself a car. Got himself an apartment. And I, I always ask her, like, yo, you. Don't bother you like when he tells you to do things. or, to, And she would say no only because she trusts his direction. Regardless if he wasn't there for a long time, he comes in trying to be a dad. That worked for her. That worked for her to the point where she lived with her father, got her credit score, learned the ropes of being an adult before she was an adult. So by the time she graduated college, before she graduated college, all her shit was already set. She was living at home by herself while she was going to college. Hmm. While the brother, on the other hand, took a different route. He couldn't listen to authority. This nigga hasn't been in my life for years. Fuck you. Want, you, want me to take, you want me to take what he's saying now? I'm like, I'm going through other things. I need him for other things. Dad, I need this. Dad, I need that. But when dad's not available for those things, it's, it's dad's fault. Oh, you're not a good father. You know, like, where, what is it? it, it, it what's the, where does the balance hang between being a good parent and not being a good parent? Mm -hmm. Who's that to judge? You know, yes. who's that to judge? If, Con if Kanye's a forceful and a parent that wants to be constant in their kid's life, even if he didn't do it before, realizing all he lost now, lost my wife, about to lose my four kids. Oh, my God, I got I to gotta, I gotta step in and I got to start doing this. And then on top of that, Kim, you know what you married, my nigga. He's a rapper. He's an artist. There's only one way to express your pain. And, and then she had the audacity to... Like throw a little shake because there was more to it than what was right by a red. I just read up to that part. Like what? Like... Oh, he he has to go through his third attorney, like in the past year, for us to have any communication about our kids. That's shade for the mm -hmm. fact that By, in, for what for for doing what having a third attorney because in order for you to have like an attorney, they have to like be able to work with you to get through shit. The fact that you this is your third one because they don't want to work for you because you ask for certain demands when it comes to like how you want your divorce to go is saying like she's saying them like oh he's so. He's like crazy to a point where like attorneys don't even want to be around. He's on his third one. Like I'm still on the same one I was before. Yeah, but see, again, that's a broken man. <laughs> Yo, you know what you married, Kanye's, and I, and I, and I, and again, I hate, I hate. It's only because you publicly allow yourself to be judged in the public. Keep this shit to yourself. When you went to, when you went, every time something happens, whether it be the Trump shit, you having to go to therapy, you just put it out there for the public to grab. Or maybe the public just grabs it and leaves it there and we go ahead and say what we want. And I do totally feel utterly bad about the situation, the fact they got to go through this because these kids are already going to grow up crooked in a weird world. 
with a lot of money. Hmm. Now they're going to come. Now they're going to look at their parents' past, and that shit can't be cute for them. To grow up and look at your parents' past, and then we don't even know the intricacy of what well, you said, his third lawyer now. Yeah, he's crazy, but he was crazy from Jump Street. This is what this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when when you marry a nut. When you get with a nut, you know what you know what it is though. And that's why I don't know. I never understand people when they oh he's got it. And aren't we all? And you you he's crazy, but you had your vagina on camera and took jizz in your face. Ter- terribly, by the way. And and, mm-hmm. and allowed your mom to make a profit off of that. He's crazy though. Absolutely he's crazy. He got niggas like Drake talking about I'm driving around your house and I look pep up the right at the light. You got niggas talking about oh, matter of fact, you got game. You showed me a freestyle. Didn't you show me a freestyle? Oh, you didn't show me a freestyle. B there's a freestyle out, game spitting and he and Kanye's next to him and he said I got I grabbed Kim by the throat. I grabbed Kim by the throat and fucked and made her swallow my jizz. Never heard it, never saw it? Oh man, here, talk. I'm gonna bring something up right uh-huh. now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Huh? This is the, this is what's up oh, podcast God. with fucking Piggy yeah, and Gilly, oh, baby. Oh God. So yeah, like the whole. Could you be with a chick like that, Yo Yos? Nah. That had a past like that? No, I couldn't be the. F- Could you even... be with a cam chick? No, no, I couldn't be with a cam chick, especially with with, with with knowing like as you said, like where her family, where she comes from. <clears throat> Excuse me. I couldn't be with that, like. She's she's too out there. She's grown. She's pretty much grown up in the public eye since like birth, all because of who her father and her mom is, and you know she has sis, her sisters running around. One of them's dating Tra- Travis Barker. The other one is having like like troubles with her fucking uh with her freaking uh man Tristan Thompson, and then you got Rob Kardashian hiding, and he got a baby. Mo- his baby mom is black China. It's like that whole family's fucking all over the place. Kylie Jenner with Travis Scott, who do a freaking uh, do a ass so world festival and Yo, body like ten listen people in, there. I had Kim Kardashian by a throat, nigga. I made her smile my kids and choke, nigga. I should have apologized. Shame my folks, nigga. I don't think they're gonna pick that up in the long video. But even then, it's like if they were a copyright claim, it's like oh shit. You were a copy of claim. We're not a monetized channel yet, so it don't even really matter. <laughs> yeah, they'll tell us. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell us too. Like, oh, your 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 video got. Hold up! Don't oh, talk shit. so you can hear it. Okay. No. 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 No, 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 why would you allow that? That's your, even dead. That's a, that's your fucking wife at the end of the day. That's who you lay down with, and then out of nowhere, yo, I'm swallowing my kids until she choke, nigga. Yo, yo, and Kanye's right next to her, and he's like, and he's rocking. I don't know what does that say about him for him not yo, doing anything. Yo, but that's my point, though. Like, can you really be upset at this woman at this point? Like, I understand she's fed up. This nigga's a psycho. This nigga's bugged out. Like, yo, I get disrespected left and right. Imagine what that nigga probably does. You know, that's why he's crazy because she knows all his secrets. Once you go through it, you believe it, and you never give a woman more than you want her to leave with. You know what I mean? Like, that's the button line, B, because it's the truth. Line. Now he's giving, he's giving Kim all this power. It's going to destroy him if he don't take care of the situation hmm. right. Yo, can we leave this? This situation's cringy. Yeah, that shit just uh, bugged you out, right? Uh, my, that right. shit bugged you out that he could say that shit okay. with his, with his, with his. Oh my god, with the nigga right there. He said, "I grabbed Kim by the throat, nigga. I had a swallow okay, okay, my okay, kids okay, 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 okay." Because even what? I feel comfortable hearing that. I feel uncomfortable hearing that shit. <sighs> and he was there. And he said, "Kanye, my man." No, no, no. And he said, "Kanye, my man." Just to go off topic from here. When you mentioned Joe Budden, it reminds me of like yesterday. My father was in a quick like little high school college reunion thing. Okay. And one of the people on there that he knew from like f- almost 50, 50 years ago was a guy named Walter Budden. Okay. Who was Joe Budden's uncle. Oh, nice. Uh, he grew up in like Harlem, and 
I thought it was really, I thought it was interesting. Small it's world. Like, yeah, very small world. Yo, they say that, I just learned this, I just learned this quote. They said, it's a small world. And he sounds like Joe Biden too, which is even funnier. And, and fucking the same women make it smaller. <laughs> like celebrity rappers? They you know fuck, what I'm saying? Like, the same on. girl? You know, c- celebrities try, probably try their best to not fuck the busboy. You know, because you don't want to just... The fuck. one of those, like, you get the, the real handsome busboy, like, serving you nah, and shit. They, nah, they try that, to fuck celebrities. I think they try to fuck each other for no, status. That's what fucking rappers it. do. You All rappers fuck the same girl. It's the same shit. Oh, Uzi... Ends up getting passed to fucking Trippy Red. They get on the pass to Rich the Kid. They just end up getting passed to the next motherfucker. If you they ever notice, they all it, fuck each other. They all fuck each other. It's like, oh, you, oh, you fuck my man's. All right, bring that pussy here. <laughs> Anyways, you fuck my man. Bring that pussy here, you uh, nasty uh, bitch. So how you feel about Whoopi Goldberg and this whole anti-Semitism thing? <laughs> Put me on. I don't know what's going on with Whoopi. You know what happened? With You're me? the news guy, bro. I'm the one that but, t- has I send you this. It. I send him this shit like. The day before, to at least look at, glance yeah, you're at. News guy, you're the news I got, guy. Okay. I talk about it. Okay, Whoopi Goldberg got in some controversy on the View for saying, you know, she said that the whole Holocaust wasn't about race. What did she say? It's about then. It was about hum- hate humans. Some with humans hating other humans or some shit. Wait, let me find that shit. It was, and it got to a point where it spilled over, and a lot of like people from. You know, the Jewish community were against it. I saw Michael Rappaport say some shit about it. I think people from the Auschwitz, like Memorial, said something about it. And she doubled down by saying almost like people misinterpreted what I said on The Late Night with Stephen Colbert. And she ended up getting canceled to a point where the CEO of ABC canceled her for like two weeks because of like what she said. Like, it, it was a whole debacle with that. Like the whole Whoopi Goldberg anti semitic thing like I mean she's not known for being well she is kind of known got, for being that political sto- oh you I got, got a story? story from CNN Washington okay of course it CNN it says Whoopi Goldberg claims earlier this week that the holocaust wasn't about race I can't do this with a headphone in my ear I can barely do it my fucking regular Whoopi Goldberg's claim earlier this week that the holocaust wasn't about race was baffling and shocking an apology followed along with a two-week suspension. But the controversy has forced deeper questions about the history and evolution of race and identity in the U.S. Goldberg made her comments during a conversation about a Tennessee school board that removed Art Spiegelman's Pulitzer's prize-winning graphic novel series, Mouse, about the horrors and trauma of the Holocaust. Oh, yeah, Mouse. Because of the alleged concerns about rough, objectionable language and nudity. Swiftly, various groups pointed out the false comedian's assertion that genocide of six million Jews had nothing to do with race. Damn. (laughs) Racism was centrally to a Nazi ideology. Jews were not uh, identified by religion, but by race. Nazis' race beliefs fueled genocide and mass murder. Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously. All right. So basically, she got her shit. She got her lo- shit fucked up about what she said. She she said something messed up, and she had to take it back for all her to keep all her numbers and all keep all her fans following and yep. do. You know what's so hard about that time? Mm-hmm. The only people that can speak about that time mm. are people from that time. Mm. You understand? Like, I didn't see the Holocaust. I didn't see the man go on the moon. I, there's certain things I didn't witness. So the only way to get knowledge about them is by looking at uh, magazines, TVs, listening to people's stories, finding podcasts. But we were not there. We were here in Corona right now. We could tell people in 30, 40 years what the fuck this look. We were here. You know what I'm saying? When, when, these, when these delicate topics come up, it's so hard to give your... Give, for me to give my opinion on it because I know it's a lot of pain. Regardless, Whoopi should have shut the fuck up because mm. people have pain. So when people have pain, you have to take in consideration when you weren't there. You weren't there to tell somebody the reason to p- feel pain and not feel pain. You weren't there. So for you to speak on a situation you weren't there for that relative to you, 
relatively allowed. Like, yo, there's like seven, eight million Jews that were part of the Holocaust or some shit. Just, they, they, them niggas got kicked out of their own land and shit like that. Like, when you think about all those people involved, you got no place, in my opinion, to speak to speak on it. That's like me saying something. That's like that's like me saying something about it. That's like me saying, oh, yeah. Look, when people... I know a couple people, and they're my niggas, so I ain't going to name them, but I know a couple people that think... And I, it's not my opinion, but I know a couple people that think the Holocaust is fake. Okay? I know a couple tinfoil hat people. Great people. Great people. I love them. But they think that shit was fake. And I bite my tongue on it. If you ever look back at any of my podcasts, you'll find it. I won't name them, but it's there. Because I speak to people with a whole variety of opinions before. And I'm not I'm there to disagree or di- agree with him because I wasn't there. I can't say that. If he's lying, I could tell you that from what I know, a lot of people died. And a lot of people say that they were in fucking gas chambers. And they saw their families get shipped away. And I, From what I, the account that I understand. But I wasn't there to fucking tell this nigga, yo... Nigga, how the fuck are you gonna say the Holocaust is fake? How the fuck are you gonna? I wasn't there. I could. I can't debate him. It's your opinion. Hmm. You think yeah. she should have said anything? You think? What? Well, what do you no, think? No, I'm like, I'm. I don't even like the fact that it wasn't about race. That's like, it's like, what if a Jewish person said, "Oh, slavery, slavery wasn't about race." Like, just look at it from like the shoe on the other foot. What if a Jewish person says slavery wasn't about race? Well, you know what it is. You know what it is, too, though, Rich? And I don't... Which is still going on in a modernized way, by the way. Again, this is going to... And that's why I said this is going to sound... This is going to sound a little crazy. Like but I'm not, I'm not racist in any way, shape, or form. But... It's so weird that we just don't get along. Like, I don't see a lot of Jewish people working with a lot of black people unless the black people kind of are entertainers. Or successful black right? people. Like you got like Peter, you got like Rosenberg, the Rosenbergs and the people that own the record Michael labels. Rappaport. The you know, the record labels, the big dudes, the big dogs are all Jew. African American society fall under those type of things. I'm not I'm I'm just saying I am not being I'm just look, looking the way to look at it like nobody looks out for each other because you're a Jew and you're black or you're Puerto Rican and you're white. Well, maybe white people get looked out better uh, after a little bit more as far as privilege goes. You know, because if 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 I crash a car, my friend's black, he crashes a car, my other friend's white and he crashes a car, the white guy usually got less of a story that he has to confront to. This is the social norm, unfortunately. But I don't think it's I don't think it's any place for anybody's place to speak about anything in the past cuz like I said we weren't there. You don't know what it was cuz people want to be in denial over it. You know it's not like Portugal just went to fucking Africa and just kidnapped fucking naked people and threw them on a ship and said, you're going to be slaves for us. No, Africa contained slaves within itself because different tribes would capture each other's fucking people and keep them as slaves. So when Portugal came over with gold, as far as the readings say, Portugal paid for the people they bought. So in my book, that's people selling people. So regardless of what race it is, what color it is, We've all done wrong to our culture of people. Come on, how many times in Spanish countries you see niggas that are fucking 30 years old fucking molesting these 13, 12-year-old girls? And I say in Spanish countries because a lot of these 14-year-old girls are prostitutes by 15. Well, you think she just woke up and wanted to be a prostitute? Nah, she was getting touched by her uncle or her father. Getting our word, our word, like, like every single night, every single day. This was her life. And all the essay, like essay, you know, that goes down, and especially in a lot of poor countries, mm-hmm. it's absolutely terrifying. Like the atrocities that happen in these countries, like nice. unfortunately, like even like in some parts of America, it's like the norm to be like essayed by your fuck fre- freaking uh grandfather, or your f- dad, or even sometimes like the moms and the daughters be like ess- essaying like you know young kids into a certain certain capacity, mm-hmm. but. You know, for well, anyway, like for the whole like whoopee thing, it's like she got she ended up getting suspended for two weeks, which is pretty much just a paid vacation. That, stupid. That's all it is. Is it is it two weeks of paid vacation? Yeah, but it, you still know, getting money. Yeah. She's still in businesses. Right, so She's not fully canceled. The question I ask you: Is she that narcissistic that it's not bothering her? No, it's not bothering her because it's like What's there were some people even when I saw online that were like. People took it like to an extreme because she was like saying, "Oh, 
it was she was saying it like humans were hurting humans. So so that's why she was kind of saying it like, oh, it was it didn't matter the color of your skin. It just mattered that um, another human being was hurting another human being. And that's what I'm saying though, that regardless of the fact of how we look at it, we weren't there. And the fact of the matter is, another human was hurting another human. Yes. It sounds like you're peeing in the corner because there's no camera on you, by the way. Mind you, he's pouring the soda in a can. It it sounds like he's peeing because there's no camera on him. So I just want to make that clear. There was no cup. I wasn't peeing. Also, by the way, I already could tell probably in the comments, the camera setup's a little different. As you can see, like, it's probably a bright light. There's a bright light right here, and he's sitting in the fucking white wall area because people are going to be wondering, oh, why is he not in his original quarter? (laughs) He fired me, and I had to get a new job, so I picked it up over here. (laughs) <laughs> so that's not Gilbert. This is Philbert. Philbert Barano. Philbert. <laughs> what a fucking name. Imagine. Oh, from Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, his name was Philbert? Yeah, the little turtle. Mm-hmm. It's Philbert. I haven't seen Rocco's Modern Life in years. Rocco's Modern Life. A lot of Rocco's old, Modern a, a lot, Life. A lot of cartoons back then had a lot of fire-ass intros. Oh, yeah, because... And they were very recognizable. They, they stuck in your head. This, com- this shit, that's like 25 years ago. I think that's because like the 90s probably had like one of the dopest eras of music. Like we, like I said, when you watch that, when you watch that video music box thing, yo, you realize, you honestly realize for yourself like, wow, we really, how was it put? You, how was it put? It was put on, um, there was no place that you can go look for your legends. Back in the day. Like, back in the day, there wasn't no cell phones. You know, everybody have a cell phone. The internet wasn't in everybody's house. You know, there was no real place that you could see the people that were making the music and the legends and the and the, and the, the, the Big Daddy Canes and the, you know, hip-hop was brand new. So when hip-hop came in, unless you went to parties and shit, you weren't really getting it. So what Video Music Box did, it took that camera out. And it started bringing the camera to all these events. And it started letting all these legends speak and give their opinions and performing. And and it was like, for how it was put, it was like, yo, these people would run religiously to the TV the nights that it was on. People that love hip-hop, people that love niggas all on it. Like, people were all on it. They had to see it because that was the only place you were going to get your let. Now it's all fucking cluttered and filled with every Twitter. So they, they pretty much were the original. Bro, they were the original. They were they talking were the, to musicians in real time, they, like a concert. Not even just, not even just musicians. Like, yes, you know what they did? They took like Johnny Carson on the road. Yes, they took Johnny Carson on the road. They were, they were, they were the ones to do that, and they did it with hip hop, not rock and roll, not pop music, not alternative. They did it with hip hop. And that's what's crazy about hip hop, that hip hop always got legs. That's why hip hop has come so far, because we've always been we've always been willing to, to to do the legwork for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they could have went to Carson. Yeah, they could have went to these late night shows and yeah, they could have but you have to be up a you know, see the people that were on those shows, up an echelon people, you know, up there people. Yes, on the rise, but who the fuck was gonna allow somebody that was rapping about fucking their neighborhood or rapping about this on one of their shows like that? You know, like at that time, they they were the premier place to be to be seen, and it was so amazing that they gave us that. Because now, like I said, because of things like that, we are on MTV. You know, mm-hmm. there is a BET there. You know, like we have all these music stations. You know, Shade Four Five. You know, we got these music hip hop stations that are all about hip hop, mm. and it's because of shit like that that, that I guess it bred us. Right. You feel me? It evolved us. It it, it made the world see like. This music is going to be here forever. Yo, bro, this music is in everything, bro. Mm-hmm. This music is in everything. Like, like if you look think at about hip-hop. Arrow Smith and fucking, you know, Run DMC, Walk This Way. You know, like, think, think about... Think- That's the beauty of hip-hop. It can be ingrained into other forms of music. Yes. Like, you don't really see, like, other forms of music blend in with other things. Hip-hop can be rock and roll. Hip-hop can be opera, mm-hmm. bluegrass, country, mm-hmm. alternative EDM. Like, mm-hmm. you can't do that with, like, what, what, like if you make everything stand on its own, like, rock and roll. Like, where can that really only blend into? But, like, you know, what, rock and roll, country? Fuck, fuck, this hip-hop and fucking reggae. And with hip-hop, what's crazy about hip-hop is... He's creeping behind, if y'all are wondering. We, we, we make... We make our 
our sound, our rhythm. You know how people can sing? You know how the motherfucker can sing and sing his heart out? I'm talking about real singing, like that music I've been playing for you lately. That real Bill Weathers, that real singing, that real voice shit, right? That real Prince shit. These niggas sing. Sing. So what singing is is a formula of, of tone and melody to contrast to the beats and sounds, right? Nigga, you know what rapping is? It's using words to do the same thing. It's speaking the words. You know when you hear a song, my nigga, and the guy's just hitting it? He's just hitting it. Every bar, the sound, everything is just, you're like, wow. The, the things we do with hip-hop music, my nigga, is amazing. Because you take any space or anything and you throw some poet words in there, it goes up, it goes down, it goes left, it goes right. When I'm coming around, you know it's good night. It's, yo, 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 oh, shit. Oh, he just, just <laughs> fucking nigga, anybody, The Rock was rapping. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. Rock just came out with a rap song like six months ago. Think about that. That's how fluent rap is. That's how fluent rap is that now everybody got an album out. We just talked about it in the car. Everybody got an album out. Everybody got a single out. Everybody got... The, because that's... Yo, y'all niggas couldn't do... you that, that, that right there, that influence of everybody having music out would not have happened if it wasn't for hip-hop happening. Because what music would y'all be doing? Pop and fucking country? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what music would y'all be doing? Hip-hop gave permission for everybody to have a voice. Mm. Every single person, from the herbs to the nerds, every single person can have a fucking voice if you could spit some shit. Facts. So you know, I get so hype. We in the Bronx, it's home of hip hop, so the battery gets in. <laughs> so how you feel about your homeboy Joe Rogan with the whole controversy with him? Apologize for the. I'm the wrong person to ask. How you the wrong person to ask? That's you know your why? Best because, friend. You know why? Because um, I'm gonna be shout out to Joe Rogan. By I'm way. gonna be hypocritical. I'm gonna be a little bit hypocritical because I got I haven't I know that about the N word right yeah all right um well two things one because of the somebody saying he's spreading who, who Neil Young right yes. Neil Young m musician stating that Rogan's been spreading false information about I won't even say the word because yeah. I get kicked off of fucking YouTube too yeah so like I won't say the word those, but those two those I won't two strikes the the... yeah you know I mean I won't even say the word but yeah. So Rogan's controversy because he's, he says all these things. Yo, that's why Rogan doesn't use YouTube. That's why Rogan is on Spotify. Because Rogan is controversial. And he don't have to... It, it's weird that he don't have to do it on purpose. That he literally just has conversation and states his opinion. And that's it. People go fucking crazy and Google Gaga for it. But it's not only because of that. Because anybody could do that. It's the fact he actually does homework and research on the things that he likes and brings the people. I think people hate on the fact that he can get somebody from fucking the guy from Aerosmith. What's his name? Steven Tyler. You can get somebody from fucking Steven Tyler up here. And then you get somebody like fucking who, who he had. He had Jordan uh, Peterson. Yo, Jordan Peterson. You know, all these comedians. It's like he, his span is so wide. And I think that's the problem. That a nigga like Neil Young, your span ain't that wide. And then he, I think Joey Mitchell. Was you know what I'm saying? That. All these people, yo, Rogan India makes Ari. 11 million listens of fucking pot. I know why y'all mad. I know why y'all mad. I'd be mad too. If I was you, I'd probably be mad too. Nah, I probably wouldn't. Because if you're making six, six, seven million views, why you mad at the man getting, man getting 11? Follow his formula and do what he do. Nobody's stopping you. But don't be a fucking hater about it. I mean, and, and that second thing. I'm bothered by that. I'm bothered by that, but you know why I'm not bothered by that? I'm give I'm gonna give an excuse. You know, Joe Rogan actually has. I think he has. What's his nationality? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> that nigga has mad things in him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think. Let me see. What's his nationality? He says it all the time. That's shit. He says it all the time, and he has like mad stuff in him. I mean, it doesn't give him an excuse. It's like me saying the n word. You know, it just because. I feel like I'm Puerto Rican and my heritage and where it comes from and the streets or blah blah blah. It it doesn't make it it doesn't make it a right word if it makes people uncomfortable. But then at the same time, I just need to learn correction of it. There's a time and place to use it, you know. Maybe there isn't a time and place to use it. But you shouldn't say the word fuck. You should you should when, when do we stop putting regulations on what people should and shouldn't say? You know, understand if somebody's feelings are hurt about something, then you say it, yo, that shit bothered me. Like with me, it bothered me when Justin Bieber sang it. Justin Bieber sang. Yeah, the way he, but it's like the way he said. Yeah, he's making a song out of it. Rogan saying it in commentary and in comedy. 
What, because he's light-skinned or white? He's not Oh, because of the stage? Because I know plenty of comedians that say the word nigga. Just not the white ones. Mm. Just not the white ones. But then how can this guy do arenas with Dave Chappelle if Dave Chappelle, who's one of the biggest activists against all this uh, culture appropriation and us being equal, right? He, he, Dave Chappelle hates this racist shit, right? He points it out to y'all. He lets everybody know, yeah, you're racist. If that was the case, why would he hang out with Rogan if Rogan was a racist? You know what I mean? It makes no sense. Chappelle don't need Rogan. <laughs> Rogan don't need Chappelle. So it's like, I felt, I mean, when it came to the whole controversy with that, it's like, if it's misinformation, it's like, this is a man that's from, since what, like 2008 or 2009 that's had this podcast. So he's, he's had it for as long as, since I was in like, before I was even an adult, he's had this podcast. And he had, what, almost six, over 1,600 episodes. It's like, he's been, like, everybody knows how Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan is, how he thinks and how yeah. he does information. It's like, why anything he says? It's like People acting like they don't know like, how he gives it up. Like, all these news reporters saying, like, oh, he's, like, shaping young minds. He's, like, saying all these this and that, and it's giving misinformation, and it's harmful, so we're going to take our music off because Joe's Rogan there. They're like, then... Spotify was like, all right, bye. We paid this man $100 million. We didn't pay you shit. You can take your music off. Right. We, have, we have an investment into this man. We well, can't, at we the can't... end of the day, that's what it is, though. It's an investment. They, $100 million. Money talks and bullshit walks. All right, so the bullshit walked because the money talked. You know, and then what they did is, they look, you got to play. You, you... I know there's suspected Mill Neil, Neil, yeah. He's, he's still a goat. 21 albums. All gold certified. We're not talking about none of that, though. Huh? But no, we're not talking about none of that. Love your success. Don't worry about another man's shit. Hmm. You know, if he's spreading... Yo, yo, that's what's good about Rogan. I guarantee if Neil Young would have hit Rogan up, like, yo, let's talk about this on your podcast. He probably did. He said no. I don't, think, Rog- said no. I don't think Rogan said no. I th- no, but I think Neil, Neil Young no. said no. Exactly. Of course. Of course. But that's my point. You know, if you want... Don't ask for no fucking smoke. Don't ask for no smoke. Don't try to deplatform me or get me kicked out of something. Or, or don't why? Because then when I catch you, especially if I offered you opportunity, if I offer you opportunity now when I catch you, it's a different problem. Because now now you're gonna have to deal with how I am in person. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean that in a way where Joe Rogan to put hands on Neil Young, but I'm just saying in person, everybody who's around us is gonna witness. Oh, sorry. Yeah, fucking look at you. It's gonna Stretch, witness how. Like a... <laughs> It's gonna witness how you are. They're gonna witness how you reacted, all that rah rah shit you were talking. Now I got you got me in front of me. Come on, we're in front of each other. Let's talk like men. No, no, no I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to him. No, no, no. He believes in this. He believes in that. No, I can't talk to that man. I can't talk to. So that's the way you act as a human being. I never want to do business with you anyway. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Any information like that? That's how. That's how we end up getting strikes on our channel. <laughs> What? But that's why that's why I didn't mention the name. Nope. I didn't say the we, word. We can't even say the name no more, man. I, it I'm feels not gonna crazy. Say, say the word. Nope. I'm not even gonna like, fuck. You know, I'm not gonna if, fuck with y'all no more because because it's gonna. Thank be, God I was on the clips because if it was be, on the main one, oh God. There's gonna be a day of reckoning. There's a gonna be a day of reckoning when me and Rich got a fucking nice place where we can say whatever we want, like, like we're Rogan gonna, does. We're, we're gonna be Rogan. We're gonna, we're gonna say the word like it's the new. Like, it's a brand new word, never in Oxford Dictionary type shit. You know what's crazy is that if they like would have... Like bling, did, when Lil Wayne discovered the word bling. And and, and we, we'll leave this. We'll leave this shit. We'll leave this shit alone. But All what's right. crazy is that if these niggas would have did their job right and giving us proper information, there'd be no such thing as misinformation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you would have did your job right and given us proper information, there'd be no such thing as misinformation. Everybody would just have the same information. But I'm just saying. Because <laughs> YouTube's a bunch of cocksuckers. Anybody that doesn't allow anybody, any of these platforms that doesn't allow people to speak an opinion or follow facts. And it was never like this on YouTube Nigga, for you know what years. Facts are? You know what facts are? When you work out and eat healthy and take care of yourself, you live a better life. That's what facts are. Now, when you eat donuts and hamburgers and chips all fucking day, you know what I mean? That's what facts are. And I think that that's something that they didn't offer us. They didn't offer us fucking facts. No, or they'll give you a double cheeseburger with a 
like a milkshake. Like but a, where, but where misinformation? A smoothie, like a vegan smoothie. Yeah, yeah. They'll give you both at one time. They'll give you some unhealthy and healthy at the same time. Yeah, y'all niggas be bugging. You know, um, you know, Michael K. Williams' killers got found, right? Michael Did? K. Williams, he had four people arrested for his overdose. For, wow. Four people arrested for his overdose. Know, I didn't even know that. They, they, he actually has another documentary coming out right now. Yeah, he's. I see some of the series that he has on Vice on their YouTube channel. I think the new episode, new season comes out. New episode. It's like an hour long about him. Like, like, and I saw. Like, I know he's done well. A lot little of clips shit. and shit. Well, yeah, like. But everybody says that he lived that life. Like, he'd be in the streets. He'd always make everybody yeah. feel comfortable. Yep. He'd always... He yeah. was like a hood nigga, but like a celebrity. Like he was beyond like a, he was like a mainstream celebrity hood nigga. Yeah, that's amazing too because, you know, you deep dive into, think about think about when the wire came out and he's over here kissing being people on the Omar, wire, right? Being Omar and he's shit. over here kissing people doing that gay stuff on the wire, right? Think about that. But how many street niggas fucked with him? You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm. They didn't have to. You didn't have to be so loud with it, so crazy. Like, nah, yeah, that mystique. Like, look, I'll still beat your I'll fucking ass. I'll still beat your fucking ass. And that, you know, sweet, that's sweet motherfucker. What? What? Sweet, sweet. But he Come probably, say it again. He's probably a nice dude, though, man. That's he, crazy. He looked like a nice dude. He, he's like a very humble dude. Like he knows where he came from, but it's just unfortunately, you know, whatever demons he was battling at that the moments, his last moments, he was battling something. Yeah, yo, yo, you guys. If you guys do drugs, it's gonna sound funny, me, but go to the drugstore and buy a test kit. Test your drugs. You can test your drugs. It's not that expensive to test your drugs. Make sure there's no fentanyl. Make sure there's no extra shit. If you're getting coke, do the coke and that's it. You know what I mean? Or just don't fucking do it. <laughs> I mean, yo, to each his own though. I just it's I sick. mean to each his own, but I person well not this is just my personal opinion. Pull your shirt down, puppy. Show me skin right now. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Don't do drugs, anybody. Fuck kids, yo. I lost too many people. I lost too many people to fuck yeah, overdoses. There's too many people dying from all this crazy. There's already enough craziness in this world. There's already crazier shit people are dying from. But you know why? You know why people die from drugs? Because they're illegal. Mm-hmm. If drugs were legal, they'd be able to. They would sell them recreationally. I mean, you'd be alcohol able to go, was illegal at one point in time. How, you know how much fucking people? Uh, you know how many people die from alcohol? Alcohol is the worst drug in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like alcohol is literally the worst drug in the world. It's just hard to. St- it's it's um it's probably one of the most profited though. Yeah, they you have know? to regulate it so they can get a profit from it. Like, what do you mean? There was more people drinking back then than there are people drinking now. That's why they did 21 year old age limit shit like that. Yeah, because they had to regulate that shit. Because remember, prohibition is like changed the whole landscape. My grandmother grew up in prohibition. You tell me like they, this is when they had like speakeasies, speakeasies, speakeasies and shit like that. When they had like yeah. the dancers and the flat girls and all that shit, that's all dope. that shit. That's dope. And she would say like, "Yo, when her older brothers and older sisters, when they would have to get like a drink, they would have to literally like go out of state to like fucking Boston or fucking Pennsylvania to come back with like boxes of fucking like beers and liquors and shit." Like, sneaking them around, like, they couldn't even go, like, buildings. They had to fucking, like, brew, sometimes brew the shit in their house. They had, like, those canisters and mm-hmm. just take, like, all the ingredients and try to, like, match it so they could try to, like, hustle it inside the mm-hmm. streets. Even cars. This is how fucking ass like NASCAR came up because it was bootleggers, used, like, hiding. Like, they made them bigger than what they are, like, in the trunk for their backside just so they could hide their liquor and even change, like, instead of using gas or, like, kerosene or whatever the fuck they used back then instead of gas, they would use alcohol to power up their cars. Because it was illegal? It was illegal. They could, you couldn't have alcohol. You'd be arrested. Sometimes you'll get a life sentences just for having like a bottle. Like a bottle. Like a can. Not even cans. A freaking little bottle. See, life sentences. And, and, nobody, and nobody gets it. You know, nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. But they, remember, it's as you said like previously. I, was, I didn't grow up in that time. You don't know. I don't know what you really know. happened. You know? These are just things I heard. Documents I've seen. Stories from... My 98 year old grandmother, how she grew up in that time, mm-hmm. and you got, and that's it. You but she had to take, take go from the colors only sink in North Carolina. That's crazy. That's fucking mind blowing. Specific corners going into a fucking diner, colors only quarter. <laughs> wow, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine living like that. I couldn't imagine living living in a place like. I mean, I mean, I can, you know. Being being discarded, being being not allowed in the group comes in so many ways, cause you you know you, you our grandparents, your grandma dealt with something like 
being discarded because of your fucking skin color. You know, now you get discarded because of your 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 um your social score. You know, if you look bad online socially, you know, if you look bad with the banks, if you're not making a hundred grand, a hundred and fifty grand a year, right? Some people won't fuck with you. Because you're just not in their, you're, you're not, not in their realm. They don't, they feel like they, not, you don't feel valued. Yeah, you're not, you're not allowed to be in that group. If you don't make over a GK, oh, I might talking, you peasant. What? I make 99K. No, you're still bored. No, no, go find that other thousand, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. That's, that's the way society is taught us. If you're not a person that makes money, doesn't flash, and doesn't like showcase, like, you know, your wealth or you, you're charismatic, you're a piece of shit. But it's not, it shouldn't be that way. Though. It shouldn't be. That's but you know what? It was the birth of like all these social media, these influencers trying to give this life that they didn't even really live in the first place. You ever see like all these scams? These motherfuckers that try to sell you like real estate or try to sell you into some forex training fucking thing. Like, oh, you give me this money and I'll flip it and give you this much money back. Mm. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Like, oh, I, look at look, but look, you want this? You want this Maserati? You want this nice house? You want this nice clothing? Like, but you know. So, I, some of that shit might work. Might. Might. Doesn't mean it will work. Because what works for you may not work for me. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. And then at that point, it's like... um, Like, you have a great PR voice. What? You have a great PR stature about yourself. What's PR? Public relations? Yeah. You have a... You know, like, if I give you, like, a product, you'll be like... You wouldn't probably know how to, like, showcase market it. it. Market it really I mean, well. If, it'd be even better if I use it. <laughs> like, cars... Cars I'm really good with. Like, what song you really like? What what would be like a dream sponsor? A dream sponsor? Yeah, for you. A dream sponsor. Um, Anything. You know, it don't got to be like a specific thing. A dream sponsor that I would always like to have in my house or have like a... Honestly, probably like um, a technology company like Mm -hmm. Samsung or Sony or like... All right, so Sony came to you and like, oh, we got this exclusive phone that ain't going to come out for like four months. We want you to be our PR guy. Like, we want you to make, we'll give you this much, this much for the commercial. I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them, give me two because I'm going to wind up breaking the first one. <laughs> but the second one, I'll make sure I take better care of. <laughs> Damn, first. <laughs> like, we'll give you $100,000 to shoot the commercial and then, like, up front, we'll give you, like, 5% commission off each sale. I mean, you're asking me would I do it? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I would do the same for an alcohol company. Say Henny came to me with the same mm-hmm. offer. Henny came to me with the same offer. Out of character Listen, and Hennessy. we'll give you a free bottle. We'll give you, we'll give you free bottles of Hennessy for a year. Um, we're going to give you 100 grand. That's 365 whatever, bottles whatever for a year. The fucking, whatever the fucking incentive. No, no, no. Not one, one a day. We'll give you free bottles for the year. That means I'll, oh, I thought you want a year, a year supply of Hennessy. Nah, 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 nah. We, we keep that bitch stock. Nah, if I'm a, if I'm sponsored by Henny, you gonna know I'm sponsored by Henny. If you but give me a year supply of Hennessy, I'm making a club. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Like I would do it now because I'm I'm a broke nigga. I'm not making a hundred grand a year now. So absolutely. But let's say I was already famous. We were, we were there. We up there, and Henny hits us. You and you and me sitting. Henny hits us up and like yo yo it's in Hennessy. Yo, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I will not sponsor, like, I know they say drink responsibly and shit like that, but I won't. I do, won't. Do you really? Do you all drink responsibly? No, it doesn't matter if they do or don't. But I'm a I, pussy. I'm one shot. I'm dead. I got a choice, though. I got a choice, though. I don't have to. I don't have to put my name attached to something that I think is bad for you and that people don't need to necessarily, like, Teach on you drink, you smoke, whatever, but I've seen how drinking has torn apart my my Puerto Rican people. I, I see that my Puerto Rican people, a lot of them in our heritage, we suffer from alcoholism. Same thing with like black people. Same, you know, there's a lot of pain there within our within our going back in our past that we don't even know about. So it's so easy for us to get addicted to alcohol. And not be responsible. So I would never say if I was if I had fame and I got all these people that follow me and they're my fans and shit like that. I would never sponsor like yeah, drink henny, drink henny. Oh, G drinks henny. Oh yeah, I want to drink henny. And then you're gonna have this one kid like, yo, get the henny bottle. Yes, yeah, and that's that new shit. Nah, I won't do it. Money's good, money's great, but I won't, I won't do it. Like, and maybe 
maybe those people that do those things, like Jay Z, right? He has Duce. Um, Conor McGregor has the proper twelve. Um, um, you know, Remy is Remy Martin. Remy Ma? No, right? No, that's why I know Fed. Fed you did something like that. Whatever the case may be. Seventeen thirty-eight. I know, I know, I know, I know people. I know people will do it, and most of those people have kids. Most of those kids, and I think when people have kids and they're in power, they see a different level of um, sight. Where they see it like, yo, whatever I do now, I got to do for my kids. I really don't care what happens with the rest of the world and how I carry my fame. Yes, I care about a little bit how a kid see me, but they'll get it later because this thing, this sponsorship was worth a million dollars with Hennessy. So I don't give a fuck. This sponsor with this dick pill was worth a million dollars. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to sponsor this dick pill because they're paying me good money. And my kid's going to understand later, listen, the reason I sponsor the dick pill is so you can have money. So maybe those people in higher power, that's why it's so easy for them to give in to these things that... Uh, you know, by- what, what would it be for like people, women who do OnlyFans or like porn stars? Like what, n- nigga, I, yo, I'm telling you, I be looking at these cam girls. I don't give a fuck. I be looking at these cam girls and yo... I, yo, part of me, just like, remember we talked before, how you said uh, Bukaki, you be Bukaki, feeling, Bukaki, 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 Bukaki you feel yeah. guilty when the niggas be fucking the bitch up a little bit, and you're like, damn, I feel guilty, but I keep fucking jerking off. Yo, it's the same, <sighs> it's the same, look, he's like, it's the same. Why are you <laughs> on, <laughs> yo, that one time. I guess, but it's the same feeling for me. It's the same feeling for me, right? When I see this bad chick, or I see this chick, or whatever, and she's attractive, she's beautiful, and she has a pink vibrator in her in her in her asshole just sitting there while she's talking like she's talking <laughs> on camera and she's b- bouncing the music drinking a corona her titties all out she got a pink thing hanging on her asshole right and then she has her fucking she's like she's talking and then she'll pu- pull the dildo out talk and she'll laugh and and then you got to see them my nigga like cuz they don't have the production team you know what i mean so they're answering questions while they're playing with themselves, while they, yo, it's hilarious. So some yo, my nigga, part of me while I'm jerking off and trying to finish feels bad too. I think about their fathers. I'm like these. Poor- <laughs> <laughs> I like these poor girls' fathers must be going through it. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. I think we'll close on that. <laughs> yo, no, nah, we didn't. Now nah, we we still. I was um. There was something left. What was left? What's the one thing left? No, nah, we got ten minutes left, baby. It's coming at one. Nah, there was something left. No, we're, not, the, the, we're not coming at one. No, she's coming at one to get you fitted. Yes. Jay Z. I, I, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I was fu- like, oh, we're Jay- not, we're not coming at one. Nigga, don't get scared now. <laughs> we ain't gonna watch a bukkake cam right now, right? Uh, you, okay, be honest. Leave in the comments. Who's more likely to do a bukkake video, me or him? I would never have more than one dick in the room. You only need, you only need one dick. You, one. Oh, it's just fucking a girl up. Yeah. Oh, nah, I'm not like that. Yo, the most the most I do is like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I become acrobatic in the you, bed. You hear the stumbling? I be, I become out acrobatic like, I could yo like be. I put my look, leg look, up look. here. Like, I put my okay. leg here. Like, I put my leg up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I become acrobatic. Then you'll like, be like, mm, what's my name? Nah, 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 yeah. I smack a little ass and say, what's, <laughs> what's my name? You don't, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You don't, you don't smack ass cheek? I smack ass cheeks. How do you smack ass cheek? What's, what's that? But what? But if I'm like, it depends if I'm lying down or standing up smacking. Nah, nah. If, if you're hitting it from the back, how do you smack that ass? Like, line drive, like home run hit. You hitting it, describe to me. <laughs> how did you, I want to see your hand motion. Like, you're hitting it like, from I'm, the back. I'm not trying, show me your hand motion. This turns a service for YouTube show I can't me, do, man. Show me your hand motion. Like, all the way back, you know, good, good, good grip. Yeah. You know, little cup. Sometimes yeah. I could. Get like the formation uh-huh. right, then. Oh, you you slap under the ass. Yes, under the ass. Oh, I'll slap. I can't. I can't. I feel bad doing it direct because I feel it'd like be more forceful. No, at least no, if it's no. under, you get you get to see that little jiggle like when it after it's done. Yeah, yeah. I like you know how I slap under. I slap the I slap the side, like like not directly under. I slap like like between the hip and the cheek when you hit it from the back, you're like that. Like that, like that, like on the side. Look, see his face. He's gonna be in Bukaki videos. Look, he's ready for that shit. Nigga, but Bukaki, I don't wanna kill a bitch. I just want. You know what I'm saying? You're pretty much like humiliating them. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, nah, I don't do that shit. That shit's weird. But niggas be doing weird. But that's what I think about when I see these can checks. I'm like, yo, what? Like, imagine, like, imagine your brother. Like, imagine, yo, I, I kill my sister. She's dead and I'll kill her again. 
I kill again if I was stumbling. I'd be like, Amanda, what the fuck? I'm supposed to get paid off of this, my nigga. How the fuck you doing this? Let me help what? you with production. Well, that's that's a fucking mo right there with your with your fucking sister. Wow. Oh, really, God bless her soul. If that's the fucking case. <laughs> that, oh, that's what. So, what you think about Jay Z and uh, fighting for not using rap lyrics and oh, so? Oh yeah, that. that Let's yeah. end on that. Yeah. I mean, go. So, Debate. It's like a loaded. What's your opinion? It's like how many rap songs where they already expose themselves now? I mean, I think at, at the end of the day, if somebody is gonna be dumb enough. Is that is that's how I'm like. Like, is that your artistic it. reach? Barbara, how dumb? How dumb are you be? It's like, oh, I killed a motherfucker, and then you're gonna go in the booth and well, talk about doing, how you killed a motherfucker. No, well, like I went up to the gets, grocery and shot the clerk. Richard, now it gets some views, it gets some notice, and it gets them a twenty five, thirty thousand dollar check, and then a twenty five to life sentence. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth saying your what you. It's uh, worth, worth it. saying like in real, t- not real time, but real in in the booth. The crime that you did. Well, you know what was crazy, my nigga? But that's all the 90s was. The 90s hip-hop music that we love was them talking about all the ratchet shit they did. No, but they would be more... I feel they'd be more vague. They weren't direct with it as now. They'll be like, oh, I, like I saw a dead body because my, my man smoked him. Nigga, they would be like... They would be, they'll be like, now today, they'll be like, I just saw the body nigga, the, ever, the block smoke You them. ever heard Immortal Technique? Yeah, I heard more technique. You remember that song? Where he, fucked his own, he, he said he fucked his own mother. Remember that song where he said he fucked his own mother? I mean, Eminem fucked his own mother, allegedly. Who? Eminem. You see what I'm saying, though? Like, when is it okay? When is it When is it the truth but and the, not the truth? That's the blurred line right there. That's the, the thin line right there between the reality, things you're saying, and things you're just kidding about. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, it's right on that very little thin line. Because I say a lot of crazy shit in my bars. I don't mean I actually do You it. say all the crazy shit in your bars. I say I ride around in a, ta- I ride around in a Tahoe. I've never been in a fucking Tahoe my entire life. You're stupid. All right. Mexican Jean tacos. Does it hurt? I, I, does it, I know friends who are Mexicans. But does it, help, does it help the art when the art is true to the person living it? Like does it? it will, I, you it, can it, exaggerate all you want. It could touch only the people that have lived that life, not the people who don't live that life. There ain't no fucking white kid in the suburbs talking about rolling up or t- yeah, Ty Shaw and the fucking blow his brains out. Yeah, they are. Where there's white kids that rap down south to talking about. I mean, but... maybe, <laughs> maybe the neighborhood, but not the fucking gated community niggas that talk that live with there's their mom and daddy a, now. Probably an island boy trying to fucking. But look at the fucking. Don't compare the island boys. The fucking gated community white island people. Boy. The, I got I got I got a co I got a coworker that grew up in South Florida around where the island boys live. He's like, no, they're from Cuba. They're not fucking Florida. They're not Floridians. No, they're, they're Cubans. Yeah, but he's like, he's like, they say they're from Florida. He's like, no, they're Floridians. They're not fucking. No, they're no, they're Cubans. They're not Floridians. They, we out. We My don't nigga, claim them niggas. Floridians and Cubans are and Miamians are all the same thing. <laughs> well, this. And mind you, the person that's telling me this is a white guy. <laughs> and my point, though, they're all the same thing, kind of. Like, they all they all love Florida. Who don't love Florida? He's like, we should no, go to Florida. No, they're Cubans. They're, not, nigga, we go, they're not yo, from here. We should go to Miami this summer. You We can go and next weekend. Me, Shit. We go around my birthday. Go to, to Miami. I don't need a passport, neither, right? No. No, this is America. Just my ID? Nigga. Parents got a house in Tampa. We could drive to Miami. You want to drive to Miami? No, nah, that's going to be far. It's going to be like four hours. Nigga, let's drive to Miami. Four hours. It's like from, 18 hours. F- no, from Tampa to Miami. Oh, your parents got to... Oh, you would take a plane and then take drive? Take a plane. It's a two-hour flight. Nah, yeah, nah. We don't... Why can't we... Nah, we just go... You want to drive 18 hours and a two-hour flight to let's go Florida? To, let's go to Orlando. I mean, let's go to Miami. Let's take a flight to Miami. Where you want to go? April. And you know what? I have a week off in April, too. See? For the week of April 10th. Yeah, I could definitely go. It's real quick. We'll be there in no time. Like, if we leave, like, now, we'll be there in, like, less that than two hours. That nigga wants to go right now. He's like, yo, let's go right now. Hey, look, we can do the... the what time is it now? You got to get fitted, bitch. Oh, yeah, but that's, like... She didn't tell me she's on her way yet. Texas, see if she's on her way. She's like, good morning. Well, Walk us out, baby. All right, so... Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're, we're playing on Florida trip right now. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, any chicks in Miami? Any you know chicks I mean? in Miami? Hook us up. Hit, hit let's us go up. on Fresh and Fit. They're down Miami. Let's let's go on their I'm show. I'm not going on Fresh and Fit. Them niggas, I'll come out. I'll, I'll leave there a different man. Every time I watch one of their episodes, I feel like a different man, and I have to catch myself with conversations with with people because I realize that. You know, they're different. They're dealing with different women. They're different men in different places in their life. And I know they're trying to teach lessons to men to not get caught out there. But the way they shit on women, you can tell that these niggas, A, got little dicks, or B, they're both jaded. Like they're both or jaded. Both. Or they're both gay. They might be gay for one another. <laughs> okay, okay, they might okay. Be, that's yo, slander, bro. I'm doing slander. I'm just saying they might be. They no, might. No. They might on the low. They might, no, 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 relationship, no, 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 they might have a relationship, and then they just take it out on women. Walter Weeks or Myron Baines. Listen, listen both don't watching this right don't now, gay dudes. Don't gay dudes take shit out on women too. Like gay dudes be getting jealous with women. Maybe that's why they get jealous with women. Maybe maybe y'all get jealous with women because y'all two are homo. It's cool. Right hey, I don't judge him. I don't judge him. But I can never shit. love him. Because to them, I'm just a rapper and she should have met another. Shout out to my nigga Jacob. Yo, all right. We out of here. Later.